welcome back to our channel, everyone. Welcome back. I feel like I really wasn't in our last video oh, that much. So nice. <laughs> Honestly, I think uh, you guys do prefer no, Jared. No, Jared did heavens no. I will heavens say, no. Jared did an awesome job with that video. He took one for the team. We've had a pretty <laughs> last couple crazy days, as Jared kind of mentioned. If you missed yesterday's video, go back and check it out. Yeah. But sadly, you guys, our little thinners just has not been feeling yeah. great. He's doing much better today. Yeah. Which I'm a lot so better, grateful. which is really good. I don't know if Jared mentioned this, but he literally was getting up every hour to. Yeah, I don't think I did bathroom. mention that. You didn't every mention, hour. Every hour. So we were we were taking turns taking him out. It was awful. But we think it was just his food. We couldn't find his food that he usually has, so we got a different type of food. Mm -hmm. He's a very anxious dog, and I think that paired with the food change just made his tummy upset. But today he is acting much more like himself. He's been playing around. He's eaten. He drinks. So yeah, he is he's been doing perfect. Doing good. I'm so yeah. glad we didn't have to take him to the vet because I know. there's like this really serious illness going around for dogs, mm -hmm. like a respiratory thing, and we really didn't want to like put him around other dogs so yeah. grateful our little fingers is doing better i think jared you're feeling a little bit better yeah too. i'm feeling a little bit better too that's good sleep does wonders for the soul <laughs> that's yeah. for sure so last night we forgot to mention this so jared mentioned i had a thing for my side of the family that i went to while he stayed back with cute little finners and my cute little niece sky you guys she turned two and so <laughs> we had a birthday party for her and oh my gosh it was the cutest thing ever it was like a shark theme party and she had the cutest little purple dress with like stars and these little pigtails with the ringlets and she was on cloud nine. It I'm was, so sad I missed it but I'm I grateful know. that Brittany filmed a little bit because I got to see it from that. Everyone missed <laughs> cute Jared of course but that was so fun to see her and just two that's like such a fun age so that was <laughs> awesome that I got to go and do that and yeah. then as you guys saw that hot tub Brett and Maddie got oh my gosh it is awesome but one thing we learned everyone was kind of learning about it yeah, is we've been like diving into like the instruction manual. <laughs> it does not do super well in the freezing cold and no. so Jared and Brett actually late last night ran to Home Depot and got like this insulation tape and a few things to wrap the pipes on the outside. Well, we recently went to Home Depot and got something that we thought was going to be perfect. I was carrying around on my head thinking that like, oh my gosh, like all we have to do is cut this. <laughs> oh my gosh! Fixing you scared us so much. So I was where's Brady and Jared? I was like, let's go scare him. Oh my gosh, that was did. awesome, dude. I scared Finn too. <laughs> <laughs> Good Speaking job, of dude. that, you guys, we were just telling them about the hot tub and how we have to like, we're finagling it so it can work outside in the cold. It's super cold outside. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go finagle it. <laughs> yes, the boys, they have been working hard on it today. They started filling up with water. They've been boiling water from the kitchen, then like taking it out. And then you used your hose too for some of it. Yeah. You yeah. Use the hose. We're doing all sorts of things to like try to insulate it. Even like we put like insulation underneath. Yeah. And like a tarp and like plastic covering to like waterproof it. We've been doing a lot of They've stuff been doing a lot. to try to jerry rig this thing to work. Because if it gets too cold, supposedly the pipes can freeze up a little yeah. bit. So just oh, keep that in mind if you. We even do bought the insulation like tape and did that around the, wrapped the all the pipes. All the pipes. They yeah. have it. What? It's like 77 degrees right now. You have it up too. Yeah. And so it's working. It's working. I can't believe we're actually getting it to work. Left to go. <laughs> it's definitely not meant to be in like this cold weather, but we're making it work. Yeah. So that's gonna be fun. <laughs> so they're actually gonna head over to Walmart and grab a couple things for that, right? Yeah. Because Brett actually found something that's genius. I was looking up online like how to heat up a hot tub, and there's these things you can put in. And I guess it just heats up water. So. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna put them in. We're gonna buy a couple and put them in. <laughs> Are you gonna go with the boys, Brick? Okay, yeah. just the boys. You guys get out of here. Come on in. Nice. Don't mind our uh, dirty car. <laughs> it looks clean. You can't tell. Uh, two kids are, have been going crazy in here. <laughs> This is like the coolest function of this car. Look at all of the cameras around it. Watch this, I'm gonna turn on my blinker. <laughs> that is so cool. I love all the cameras. Yeah. Bricks wanted Uncle Jared to hold him. That's right. Over his own father. He's already sick of me. Look at him grabbing your chest. Okay guys, so we came to Walmart to see if they have any immersive water heaters. Essentially it's something that you place inside of the hot tub, heats up the water up to like five gallons, and it can do it in like 15 minutes, which is really cool. We actually just asked a worker. Unfortunately, they only sell it online. So we are gonna have to go check out maybe two other stores to see if we can find it there. 
If not, we're just gonna have to wait up the old fashioned way for this thing to heat up. Well, just found out the bad news. We called all the stores and they do not have what we're looking for. So, we're gonna order off Amazon, hope for the best. Well, it should have called before we came. <laughs> you know what, we looked online, it said they had them available, and then we got here and they don't, so, oh well. Well, we came to the consensus that we're just gonna Amazon whatever we need, and it looks like we have a few options that we can get to actually get delivered overnight, which is pretty awesome. I'm also looking at other options that like alternative options, I'm just Googling from like search forums and whatnot, and it looks like there might be some options that we can do tonight as well, so we'll have to go try those out when we get back. making guesses right now on how hot we think the hot tub will be when we get back. Brett said 78. I'm thinking, I'm hoping for 80. It's been moving about two degrees every hour. <laughs> <laughs> so, if it can be, it can be that, that'd be nice. Here's the thing though, we haven't been dumping any hot water into it. Ooh, that's like true, this? yeah. That is true. So, like this? Like and, it's, like and it's gotten a little bit colder. Like this? Bricks, how hot do you like think this. the hot tub's gonna be? Peace. Super hot. Super hot. I think okay. that's, I think he's gonna win. About to see how hot this bad boy got in the time that we were away. <laughs> Please. What are the chances? It's just like 105. <laughs> Zero. 78. I was 78. Oh my gosh! It went up one degree. Whoa! Pull, bricks and pull. Pull, bricks and pull. <laughs> <laughs> you are so strong! Okay, let go and see what he does. Oh, he's taking it! Good job! High five, dude! Yeah. We got the world's best sous chef. Oh. Are you helping out, Brady? Thanks, dude. Pota what That's is that? super nice of you. Potato. Yeah. And Uncle Jared, who opened these bricks? Me. We are making a French onion chicken, mm. which I made this one time on the vlog before, but I'm changing up a little bit. All we're right. adding mushrooms. You guys like mushrooms, right? I love mushrooms. Mushrooms so are the best. Gonna, basically, we're gonna saute a lot of onion with Lipton onion soup mix. So it's gonna kinda taste like French onion soup. And then I'm gonna add in mushrooms, and then we're gonna bake it with chicken, cheese, breadcrumbs, mm. and then we're gonna do veggies. Maddie's cutting up some red potatoes. Yeah. Carrots, <laughs> and, yeah. 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 and we're gonna eat her for dessert, pretty much. So, that sounds delicious, I like that idea. I know, just a nice warm, cozy meal. And in the meantime, we're gonna hope like crazy the hot tub warms up another 30 degrees magically. <laughs> Probably. Hey, you guys, should this be the first episode of Bro? Of bro vibers, yeah, can it's they? Not, it's not bro until well. Can they uh, heat up a hot tub? <laughs> I am totally down for the challenge. All right, so I've been caramelizing my onions. They look so good, and then I'm gonna add in one packet of Lipton onion soup mix. Yummy to my tummy. And then to that, we're gonna add in about a half a cup, maybe a cup, <laughs> quite a bit of onions, <laughs> of chicken broth. And then I'm gonna let this just simmer for a second and then I'll show you what I put over the chicken before we put this on top of it to bake it. So I added in mushrooms. If you do not like mushrooms, I've actually never made it with mushrooms. It's usually just the onion, but I thought it would be- hey, Mushrooms taste good. I like delicious. mushrooms. We all like yeah. mushrooms. Added that in. To my chicken, I have five chicken breasts right here, just in a baking dish. I put in some olive oil, and then this is six cloves of garlic. Mm. Now, you can do this beforehand to marinate the chicken in this, and then I'm gonna add in another pack of soup mix. Okay, all right. But I did not marinate it, we don't have time. Okay. So that's fine. <laughs> and then here's my second package of the soup mix. I'm just gonna sprinkle this in here, but I'm gonna oh, save a nice. little bit of it, because then I have my veggies. If you don't wanna do as much chicken, you can, remember when we made this, babe, I split it oh, in half, yeah. and I did the chicken on this side, the veggies on this side. So I added in carrots this time, and then I'm just gonna sprinkle in some more of this soup mix to the veggies. 
<laughs> I added in a little bit more of the fresh garlic and then some garlic powder. This is granulated garlic just for a little bit more flavor. And then I'm also going to put this on the chicken. And then you guys, I'm going to take our soup mix and pour it over the top before we bake it and it is gonna be so good. One of the tips that we learned is that if you turn on the jet, it can actually heat it up a little bit faster. So we took note of when we did that, it was at 5.15. So now it's been 15 minutes later, it's 5.30, and we're gonna see how hot it is now. I'm hoping like crazy it's gone up a, a degree or two. Right here. Ooh, it's warm. 77, no, it dropped. <laughs> oh my gosh, it actually went down. It went down a degree. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> Is it because you keep opening the lid though? No, I mean, it was 15 minutes ago. We opened up a little corner. Probably just because it's getting colder outside. <laughs> yeah. So the temperature dropped seven degrees. So what you're saying is we probably gonna get a pump so we can take out the water and move the hot to the inside. Yeah. <laughs> so that is one of the things that we discussed is actually moving it into the garage because the garage is about 50 degrees. We really want it outside. Okay, so Brittany had a good idea, a good point. She said that the, when the jets are on, it's actually sucking in air from outside to like, you know, make the jets go. So she thinks it's actually sucking in the cold air, which is cooling it down. So we're gonna turn the jets off right now and see if it actually goes up. If it does go up, then we know the jets are the issue. All right, so our mixture is done, and now I'm just gonna spoon this over the chicken. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. Really good. You guys, this is one of our favorite meals, I think, with chicken. Remember, babe, that we made? Oh yeah, it smells really good and it tastes delicious. So I'm gonna pop this in an oven, 375, and just kind of keep my eye on it. It's officially six o'clock. We're gonna go test it again, see whether or not it's gone up or down. 80 degrees! <laughs> 80 degrees, baby! What are you guys doing? All of a sudden, they just brought in the outdoor hose. What are you guys doing? Bro, vibrating. Bro, vibrating? <laughs> For real though, what are you doing? What are you doing? We're taking the hot water from the faucet because it's super hot, we're running it through the hose and dumping it in here. <laughs> it won't go through. Do you think it's full of water? No. It's not? Oh, you too. Look at Jared out here. <laughs> He's just holding the hose like waiting. <laughs> Nothing, babe. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, we got the sous chef again. Thank you. Good job, dude. That was awesome. All right, we got the chicken out. We just talked to it with some mozzarella. You can also use Swiss as well. And then should we put on some of this cheese? Why yeah. Some, some Parmesan. You're a good helper, dude. Oh, You are yeah. a good helper. Is this gonna be yummy, Bricks? And then. Good job, man. We're gonna put on some breadcrumbs. <gasps> and top it with a little bit of butter and put it back in the oven for about 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds delicious. Oh, Brickson wants some spaghetti. Oh, okay. <laughs> what it looks like, it's up with a little butter. And you put it back in for about 10 minutes, is that right? Yeah. Oh, and the brown. veggies. dinner it was delicious as always Brittany does cook a really mean meal it was so good, so good. <laughs> Brittany, a mean meal. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know that was it good was really, really <laughs> <good>. <laughs> she just cooks a mean meal it, cooks it. <laughs> it is French. it's so easy you guys saw it but it's definitely one I would put in your collection Maybe and yeah, kids are down. Right yeah. Rock stars. Yeah. Kids down. And right now we're taking uh, bets on how hot we think the hot tub is. So. Last time at 6:30 it was 82 degrees. Okay, I'm saying I'm I'm saying 90 degrees. I know it's far out there as a stretch. I'm saying 86. Ooh. And 84 with Brett. You're 84. Is that what you're saying? Are you saying 84? I'm saying 82. I don't think it's moved. Okay, I'm saying 82. 84, okay, let's go see. Okay, so it rained a little bit and it's gotten colder. Yeah, I was gonna say, you can totally see your breath now. <laughs> <laughs> and this is soaking wet. Oh boy. <laughs> 84 degrees. <gasps> 
84. Yeah. Wait, who guessed 84? Brett. But that is good news because if it can last through the night tonight, that means it will probably be usable tomorrow. As you guys can tell, Jared is very excited about this hot cup for <laughs> Jared them. and Brett. <laughs> These two. They're I'm like, like stoked out of their minds. I'm like, Jared. Yes. <laughs> thanks for hanging out with us today. Thanks for all the well wishes for cute little Finn. He's doing better tonight. I fed him some rice and some chicken, and he's he seems to be doing good. So yeah. and I feel like you're on the mend. Yeah. I'm on the mend. These guys are on the mend. <laughs> yeah. They can't wait to go to sleep. Sleep depressed. We can't wait to go to sleep. So we love you guys and we'll see you next time.